Hi, I'm, hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake this video, we'll be discussing the 1962 movie musical, Gypsy. So I Natalie Wood, Martin Russell, Cole Molden. Of course, this movie, of course, is based on the Broadway musical of the same name, originally starring Ethel Merman. Now, for some stupid reason, the people who made this movie uh, did not cast Ethel Merman as the part of Mama Rose. I wish it was a big ever mistake. Not to get, uh, Ethel, I get married because Ethel Moore was not that photogenic. I mean, she's not that hot. Uh, you know, she's not that, she's not that pretty. She has a voice, but she's not that pretty. And you guys, we never cast somebody who's prettier. And so they cast Rose and Russell in the Mama Rose, uh, part. But like I said earlier, this movie is based on the life of the most famous stripper at the time, the name was Gypsy Rose Lee, who came out of the Warville circuit. And she got into stripping and became a famous stripper. And due, due to the fact that her mother, Mama Rose, was a overbearing stage mother. I mean, you see, see reality shows based on this premise, with the, with the stage mothers going, going crazy, or you have to this is your act, or do this, or do it this way, do it that way, do this, do this. And that's what Mama Rose was for the whole film. And it got to the point where no matter what act she was thinking of, she was really like dreaming of an act, and then she puts the act together, and no matter what she did, what she did the act didn't work. So she had two, two doors, one turned out to be Gypsy Rose Lee, the other actor, the other one, was or the older one, the one who had the most talent, was played by Aunt Jillian, who, was, who also was a pretty damn good singer and actress in her own right. You know, later on in her career, uh, she got so sick of the whole uh, vaudeville act, and vaudeville was at the time of vaudeville, and vaudeville was dying in the, in the United States, and. My mom and most people sitting and going around on the vaudeville circuit, and everybody's telling her, "Look, Rose, vaudeville is dead in this country." So no one is, no one isn't. We can get a good act together. We can go through this, and people were tired of the same act all the time in, in various uh, vaudeville circuits going around in the, co in the country. So, but my mom was kind of sitting there doing the vaudeville circuit, and nothing was working, and. Then of course the old the older door, the one that said by, by Angelique she had enough, she ended up getting married to one of the guys who was in the the act and they ran off and got married and that's it. And she and she quit the whole damn thing. Well she had her other daughter, Lee, played by Natalie Wood, fresh off of her performance in West Side Story, which came out the year the year before uh, the Gypsy film. So so she so you know, Rose used, used just her as the act, and first she had old, old boys backing her up, and then became old girls, and no matter which way she did, her act was not working. No matter what she did, because, because Natalie Wood's character, uh, uh, Lee, the Gypsy Rose Lee, she, she didn't have the talent that her older sister had. But she liked the business, and she kept staying in the business despite the fact that she didn't, she didn't have the talent of her sister. But then at one point they get booked in a burlesque house for her act, and Mama Rose got get upset that, that she got booked in this in this joint because most of the acts were all strippers, and and Lee, and they call it Gypsy, and so and because uh, Natalie Wood who played Gypsy Rose Lee, said a line said, "Oh, we're, we're like a pack of gypsies. We're always traveling with all the whole country and doing doing acts and stuff like that." And so one of the strippers called her Gypsy. You know, as a, as a nickname. It's, oh, that would be a good name, good name for an act if you call Gypsy. Or, or, or Gypsy. or Gypsy Rose. And then that's how they got eventually evolved. Her name eventually, or stage name, eventually evolved into Gypsy Rose Lee. And some, some of the other girls would give her tips on stripping is that at first the mother was objecting for her to do, do any stripping at all. And then when she tried to act, when she just maybe took her glove, her gloves off, and maybe one of her straps of her dress off, and said, "Ooh, ooh. You, know, you know, and that was risky back then. 
but um, she kept doing that. Uh, and it's dramatic. And eventually, she took off a dress, and it was like, well. And actually, of course, in that time, in 1962, you really didn't see new movies. In that, in that time, so everything had to be more implied. And it's one thing to just show off maybe in, in a broad panties or, or, or in a bikini. It's one. Th- or, so now you wear a bikini, but or just in a broad panties, and maybe just as far as we were willing to go in a movie back then, 1962. But but they eventually uh, did that and then uh, because Natalie Wood I think she was about like 25 at the time she did this movie so so uh, and about less than 20 years later she, she ended up dying when she was 44 so it was easy to figure out she was about 25 years old at the time and she, she was smoking hot Natalie Wood I mean anybody who doesn't say that Natalie Wood was not hot I mean either blind or gay so, uh, long story short, the, the Gypsy Ro- that the uh, Gypsy Rose Lee became such a famous stripper that at one point, because her mother was such a pain in the ass, Mama Rose was such a pain in the ass, they actually banned her from backstage. At one point, they banned her from backstage because they, she kept being such such a nuisance to people, especially for people running the show bothering the, the stage managers and bothering the guys who won the shows and because she's because she was such a pain that they banned her and but then she then in the, in the movie Mama Rose came into Gypsy's uh, dressing room and said look well, I don't need you anymore Mama I'm all, I made it on my own I didn't you didn't get me to where I am and said yeah but I pushed you in the show business I said yeah but I did this act on my own without your any of your crazy ideas and, and so Superman says, says to her, screw you, I don't need you anymore, get out. And of course then you had the very big scene at the end of the movie where I was and Russell singing, everything's coming up with roses. Which she, which she sang earlier in the film, but a halfway point in the film she sang that song. But now she came with a big thing and said, I did it for myself, I didn't do it for you, I did it for me. Because I'm a loser, I want to get myself known in the business by putting on this, these acts. And I didn't get noticed. You got noticed. I did, and I and she was bitter, and she was very. Mama was very, very bitter about. And I said, "Oh no, the kids, kids now no, 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 she's successful. No, she doesn't need me. Well, screw her. I'm going to go out by my own way. Where I should have been. I should have, you know, put on my own act and be on, be on stage instead of being in the background all these years. So, so that and she ran the whole th- the whole time right on stage you know, you know everything's coming you know for me my rose you know and, and all that stuff at the end of the film and then of course at the end you know, so Nanny Wood comes from uh, Gypsy Rose leads comes around and says, yeah I do, I do need you but not I need you as a mother not as somebody who is pushing me to go into show business you don't want to push me into show business and they say I need a mother not, a, not an agent you know, not a manager I need a mother you know and and Mama Mo saw it that way. He said, "Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, I, I was wrong to push you into this business and all that stuff. But now, Jersey Rose Lee is the most famous person in America at that time, being a stripper and all that stuff. But you know, as a movie, as a story, I think it was, you know, okay. It was good. And actually, to see Natalie Wood in, in this part, I think she was very, very, very good. Even though she played a real subtle." Poor way down, not off front, like um, she was in Re- like in West Side Story or Never Without a Car. She was bad in those movies, but uh, she was good in this one. Was, wasn't Russell? Was the whole movie? Like I said, I would like to have seen Ethel Merman in this role because she played, like I said earlier, Ethel Merman played the show on Broadway, so it would have been better if Ethel Merman. Thank you. It would have been better if Ethel Merman was in this role and not. Every time you do one of these videos, they always get this stuff happening, you know? It shouldn't be right having an open window in here. Um, but it would have been better if Ethel Moon was in this phone than Miles and Russell. Because I'm more of a fan of Ethel Moon, especially her voice, singing voice, than Miles and Russell. So that's my review of the movie Gypsy. Please click on the video, please rate it, feel free to comment on it. 
Please subscribe to my channel. Please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. And check out all my reviews and on my YouTube channel at reallyc.com. It's all W D Y and then C.com. Homepage and reality review of Chris Lee Moore. And please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.